Oh, hello again and welcome to the VK6CS Fun with Amateur Radio Channel. Well, my two uh, uh, GK71s have arrived, or the RK71s, and uh, I've only unboxed one. I'll, uh, I might do an unboxing for the other one. Um, as, <laughs> as people seem to be uh, quite interested in unboxing videos. Suffice to say, they were uh, very well packaged and uh, looked, looked to me very much like they were in the original boxes from way back when. You don't get uh, thick cardboard boxes like uh, like that anymore. Okay, so there's uh, there's just one of the valves. As I say, I haven't uh, unboxed the other one. Very, very similar looking to the 813. I can see why people say they're very similar looking to the 813. Um, because it is. I'd say uh, if I, I don't have an 813 here, but I reckon myself that that, um, this uh, anode structure, graphite anode structure, I would say is larger than the 813. Apparently the internal capacitances are a little bit higher, so it's not quite so good at the higher frequencies as the 813, but other than that it's quite similar. Um, and uh, importantly for the application that I want them for, they run happier at lower anode voltages. Now I'm going to run these, um, a pair of these, connected as triodes um, to apply screen grid modulation to the GU81Ms. That's what I've got in mind. I just thought, as it was dark, as I'd fired up the heater, because it always they, they, these things look better in the dark, don't they? If I turn the light on, it wouldn't look anywhere near as. Uh, it's nice. I mean, it's, it's got a nice cosy sort of glow to it. The only, I think, the only enhancement to that would be to have some uh, some music throbbing through it. You know, sort of throbbing with bass and zinging with treble. So, uh, as you can see, it's. Uh, I think I showed you. Now I've got the two um, two brand new valve bases for these things. Anyway, it's uh, right in the sweet spot. If you can see that, um, yeah, can't really see the meter, but the meter is showing 20 volts. Probably can't see it on there either. 20 volts, and actually, can you see that? I've actually adjusted it. It's showing sort of 24 volts on that meter there, but I, I do have a meter strapped across the actual pins on the valve base, and I adjusted the variable voltage power supply, so there is 20 volts across the uh, the heater on the valve base, and uh, the specification for it is 20 volts, and I think it's two and a half between two and a half and three and a half amps. And if we look at the current there, you might be able to see that current meter there, the needle on the current meter. And that's one, that's two and a half amps it's showing there. So that's um, that's right in the sweet spot there. And actually I do have a torch here. So I could show you that meter. There we go. And there's the, well, let's get rid of that glare. There's the meter. And you should be able to see the meter there showing 20 volts. 20 volts, there we go. So 20 volts, two and a half amps. So it's got exactly the same heater uh, power requirement as the 813. The 813 is 10 volts, five amps. This one's 20 volts, two and a half amps. So the actual power for the, uh, for the heater is the same. And uh, that's what it looks like. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed. Uh, having a look at that and glowing away or found that uh, slightly interesting um, at least slightly interesting as always thanks for watching and uh, I'll uh, I'll catch you next time